everyone knows how much I love PowerShell. What happens when Windows Update just decides to break? Well, PowerShell to the rescue. And what do we even need Windows Update for? Do we really think it saves us energy? You sit on a throne of lies. No, that's just silly. Microsoft, get off the drugs. But with that, let's get on the desktop and start uh, installing our Windows updates from PowerShell because that really is where a lot of the power lies in Windows. All right, of course, we have a guide on ChrisTitus.com with just some copy paste commands to install updates. Now you see we have the settings here in Windows Update. Oh, actually, I think I disabled Windows Update. Oopsies. I did. I ripped it out of this system. Oh no, Windows Update, it's gone. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Incoming uh, update fix. So we have this running and say, hey, it's missing important updates, but I have no updates to install because I ripped out Windows Update. So we'll launch into our terminal with admin or PowerShell with admin would also work. And we're just gonna, uh, paste this command. We're going to install a module called PS Windows Update, and we're going to install and use a WS Service Manager to utilize Microsoft Update. So any corresponding Microsoft Office products and things like that would also get updated with this. All right, we'll say yes to this, or we'll just say all. Okay, so now we've done that section. Let's come back to our cheat sheet. And now we can install all updates with this command with install dash update accept all, auto reboot, and then write a log out to our C folder log and force those updates. Now, I did this command because this is kind of what we use in business. If I'm gonna deploy and force updates through a whole bunch of computers, I would use this one down here in like a script form. But let's just manually type these in and see what we get. First off, let's see what it would install if we just say git Windows update. Right now, it looks like we have a security update for Visual C++ 2005. We have Windows malicious software removal tool update, and we have a cumulative update. All these look really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install all of them using this command. We'll just copy that. But I just wanted to first show, hey, what updates are we gonna install? And you can pick out updates too, and just say, hey, I only wanna install this one update. Like if this said like, 22 h3 i'd be like oh heck no <laughs> i don't want a feature update what do i look like a guinea pig uh but needless to say this is what we're going to do it's going to write the log file out to that c updates.log all right our updates happened we're rebooting now ah let's pull up our file explorer go into c and then i don't have how do i don't have notepad plus plus what is up with that all right one second i'll and install notepad plus plus there we go it's like what am i a neanderthal use a notepad ah i guess i could use visual code but what else all right there we go we have notepad plus plus installed now we can look at this file let's edit it with notepad plus plus what got installed it looks like our security update for visual c plus plus 2005 happened which is good i know that was a pretty big cve but i at least wanted to show these things and let's get back into our terminal and take a peek at windows update now so we're going to do git and if you ever see this by the way where it's like this fuzzy text finding it's actually a nice addition to windows terminal you just press the right arrow key to auto complete fun little tidbit and we can see that it did install the other update but we are still missing the cumulative update so we can actually just say install windows update now i'm not going to do any of the extra options here i just want to show you what it looks like without any of a writing to a log file or anything like that because there might be like an accepted eula or something like that that might uh, trigger this now usually the dash accept all will take care of it uh, but we can also just run it plain like this and i'm just going to say all to accept so it accepted it, it downloaded it, and now it's gonna install that update. Uh, a good way to check on your system progress, a lot of times I'll pull up like task manager and look at the details, and then usually just kind of sort by description. And you have this W-A-A-U-C-L-T-D-I-E-X-E. That's running in the background. This should keep running and see what we have. Also, another one is this module installer worker. Obviously, it's 
okay, going ahead and patching some stuff. But these two things kind of keep an eye on. If they both are sitting at zero, that means uh, update might get stuck. So it's important to just let these go. Cumulative updates do take a long time to run. Uh, I would give it anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how out of date your system is. It's been a while since I updated this system. So I'm gonna just let this sit here and finish up. But with that said, let me know your thoughts on running Windows Update through PowerShell like this. 